what's going on you guys it's your man james aka jp back again with the toy room so in my free time on my days off whenever i get a chance i always go to the thrift stores to see what uh clothes what shoes what also what video games just anything what i can find and uh i decided to go today and i hit up three goodwills and found a bunch of crazy stuff uh so let's go ahead and get into it first things first this is uh right here we have the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Will Smith uh, jersey right here. This cost me four bucks. Uh, it's not like the official like raised lettering and numbers uh, jersey. It's it's screen printed on, but still really cool and not bad for four bucks. And uh, other than this logo, which I'm not really sure what this is. Um, everything else looks legit. I looked at you know compared some pictures or whatever. Um, so that is that. So we'll move that out of the way. And then I have two bags full of, I think, uh, yeah, they're all PS2 games. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at this bag first. I found these at one Goodwill. Put that to the side. So we have Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell. I believe this was 06, this was 04 that this game came out. So really cool. You know, the Splinter Cell games are pretty good. You know, stealthy action game. It is complete with the disc and the manual, which is always nice. Uh, it's got the used GameStop sticker, which I'll take off eventually, but we got that game there. Uh, next up, we have Splinter Cell Double Agent, and I believe this one was 06, so this was two years later. I cleaned the disc, but I didn't notice this before. This didn't come out, so I'll have to touch that up again. Um, but this one is complete as well, so we got that right there. Going to the back, another stealthy shooter game, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then we got NBA Live 07. Right there. I had this on the PSP. A lot of fun. I love NBA. I love basketball games, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, but you got that right there. This one isn't complete, but you do got the disc. Obviously, that's the most important part. No manual. So we got these three games at one Goodwill. And then the other bag. Uh, I think there's like five or six games in here. And there was probably like another four games that I wanted to get. Uh, but, you know, I started adding up. And the games weren't that great. Uh, so I left them behind. Um, but we got... Throw that to so I got a whole bunch of games right here. It looks like someone had actually traded in, like their or not traded in, but donated their PlayStation collection. Uh, they had a PS2 behind the counter, but they wanted 60 bucks. I already had a PS2. I just wanted the controllers, but they wouldn't sell it to me separately. Uh, but we have Twisted Metal Black right here for the PS2. You can see that right there. This is complete all the way down to the PlayStation Underground little postcard thing, which is pretty cool. I love seeing these old like pamphlets and booklets. Uh, this little tab right here is broken, but not that big of a deal. So we got Twisted Metal Black. Next game we got is SSX, the original. Awesome little snowboarding game right there. I'm not the biggest SSX fan, but you know, classic game, so I couldn't pass it up. And all of these games are two bucks a piece. Next up, we got Spy Hunter, Greatest Hits Edition. Coming to the back, another, like, uh, vehicle warfare type of game, classic. Uh, I never played it on the PS2, so I haven't played this one. I have it on the PS1, so we'll see how much better or worse uh, this version is. Uh, next up, we have Corvette. Uh, I've never actually heard or played this before, um, but from the back, it looked pretty cool. It looked basically like Need for Speed. You can see you're, uh, running away from cops and everything like that. And the whole game is just all Corvette cars. So I love Corvettes, so I definitely had to pick this up. Again, these games are all complete, which is crazy, uh, especially for a thrift store. Next up, we got Ridge Racer 5, which is awesome. Classic racing game here. I played Ridge Racer back on the PSP. Never played it on the PS2, so we got that right there. And then finally, we got Call of Duty 3. Obviously, this isn't, you know, Modern Warfare or um, Black Ops or anything like that. But it was still a cool piece to add to the collection. And I actually remember playing this back in the day. And the story mode was pretty fun. So we'll see how well it's held up, um, you know, probably like over 10, probably 15 years later, something like that. Um, so we got Call of Duty 3 here. Uh, now, the games that I left behind was Grand Theft Auto 3. And the only reason I left that behind was because uh, if you guys saw uh it was a haul video maybe like a couple weeks ago i had already picked up the grand theft auto trilogy so i didn't need another copy um but if i didn't pick up so many of these games i definitely would have uh you know would have picked it up just because uh what else did i leave behind atv off-road fury and there was one other game i can't remember what it was but it wasn't anything crazy uh so yeah that is basically my entire haul move all these over here so I got nine games, two bucks a piece, not bad at all. 
So there's my Goodwill haul for today. Um, you know, I always find something every now and then at Goodwill, uh, but this was the most I've ever found in one day. I found something at all three stores that I went to. You can see uh, I got the Fresh Prince jersey. That was $4 and then $2 PS2 games. Uh, not bad at all. If I go back and they have some of the other games I left behind, uh, maybe next week or something, I'll definitely pick them up. Uh, but that's my little uh, Goodwill find. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, stay tuned for more. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.